All right, so um. now where do I go? Uh, Grandpa Stinky. Oh wait, no, we already talked to him. Uh. All right. We have to go talk to the DeSoto. Well, not the DeSoto, but the people loitering around the DeSoto. I love how they just put the cockroaches everywhere in here. Yeah. All right, let's let's go to the Soto. He comes in peace, shoot the kill. Wait a minute. Oh, it's all civil shit. Let's see, is there anything I can take from here? Dollar junk into these boxes for safekeeping. And I'm especially glad we didn't put it in a secure, environmentally regulated storage facility like she asked us to. Not cheaper, and everybody gets to enjoy it. <laughs> All right, see so yeah, yeah, talk to the the chuckle fucks loitering around the DeSoto. Oh, there's people loitering around it. Oh, you're right. That's more rats. Oh, wait. oh no, not them. Oh, it must be this way. No, they're in the back. The back of the car. Yeah. Are they just inside the car? I don't see anybody here. Check out the DeSoto. Okay. Hello and welcome to a bold new reimagining of the computer obsolescence prevention system. Oh. They're all in the car. Generally useless. What are you doing in our car? I said you guys could hang out in our car until you found your own place, but it's been months now. <laughs> You have been randomly selected to enjoy a free trial of the crime hyphen Tron X. Wait, wh where's the, the the arcade machine? No, that's that's an option actually. What happened, where's what Buster Blaster? What happened to my son? We have traveled with user Bosco to Las Vegas, Nevada. Fair. What's an outdated arcade machine supposed to do in Vegas? He doesn't even have any money. Buster Blaster received a generous workers' compensation settlement upon his termination from Pimplica. We cannot huh. comment while litigation is pending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why he sounds funny. They damaged him. Yeah. You guys should keep an eye on General Skunk Ape. We're pretty sure he's evil. That guy is a total heat sink. A real motherboard. He thought everybody else liked him except for us. His so-called advanced technology is going to make thousands of hard-working computers and robots lose their jobs. Oh, that's why I hate him. Technology, look for the made on Earth label. <laughs> Power core. Do you guys know where to find something called a power core? What's his problem? We were forced to witness Mama Bosco tearing apart circuit boards to construct her power core. We prefer not to talk about it. <laughs> it was horrible. What's this business about a free trial? You have selected to hear more about the Crimetron XL. In a world where thugs and supervillains rule the street. Only the most technologically advanced crime stoppers will emerge victorious. Submit clues gathered from your investigations and we will analyze the living hell out of them. Okay. Cops. How are you guys supposed to help us fight crime? Yeah, you're not even as powerful as a cell phone. Max, that was completely uncalled for. <laughs> With my 1.6 mhz of raw power, I am able to analyze data at... Oh shit, 16 whole megahertz of raw power. I, I don't think we can handle that. And what do you do? I'm a functional telephone. <laughs> That's about it. Now, talking to you guys is great and all, but could we have our car back? If you'd like to drive somewhere, use the handy city map contained in the glove box. Hey, Sam, isn't our car still possessed by demons? It is not so bad as long as you do not try to run the air conditioning. <laughs> Crimetron. Let's try out the Crimetron right now. We're sorry, the Crimetron XL may not yet be available in some areas. <laughs> we are still recruiting members for the COPS. For the last time, we are not letting your Japanese robot dog into this group. <laughs> Uh, we talked about this. That dog is straight up creepy. Ha! <laughs> Alright. Grab those jumper cables in the back. 
See you, cops. End of line. End of line. Why do we have jumper cables? Neither of us knows how to use them. It's simple, Sam. The red cable goes on the right nipple, and the black cable clamps to Neither the. Neither of us knows how to use them. He's gonna say balls. All right, so I got the clamps. Excellent. Now, talk to the phone. Hello, and welcome to the Televoice Communitronic Stream 5000, with over 800 messaging features available. Oh, sweet, 800. Oh, boy. Now I can finally set up my 24-hour adults-only naked bunny chat line. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we've lost my manual for that feature. <laughs> Make phone calls? That I can handle. Please say the name of the person you want to call. Oh. Mr. Pizza. Mr. Pizza, I want an extra large thick crust with one half peanut butter and passion fruit. What? The other half with watermelon only. You want cheesy dingles, Max? You have to ask. Okay, and two, no three orders of cheesy dingles. Gouda. No, three. Right. An extra fudge sauce. Okay, thanks. How long till it gets here? Probably never, Max. Nobody answered. <laughs> Sticky cell phone, Harry Moleman, Bosco Tech, Sybils. <laughs> Sybils still on her honeymoon. And she's on her honeymoon. Was to try and call her in retrospect. Harry Moleman. He only got incinerated in the Mulvin, fire. Speaker for the deck. If you'd like a seance. Or oh. and spirit walking ritual, please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I also do like secretarial or housework. Please hire me. <laughs> it's like writing a resume. <laughs> Bosco Tech. You've reached Bosco yeah. Tech Labs. Sneaky's uh, cell phone is the last one. Oh, oh yeah, I'm avoiding that one on purpose. Touch. Science and woman's touch are two things you hardly ever hear together. I'm dead right now. But feel free to call I'm dead again. right now, but feel free to call again later. <laughs> Wait, yeah, she is dead. Stinky hey, Diner. Stinky's Diner. Stinky's Diner. Say it, Pie, you've reached Stinky's oh, Diner. Right. Home of the colossal blooming avocado taste banger deluxe. She's a millennial. It's avocados. And one of our polite delivery people will rush it to you if he ever gets the chance, which he won't. Which he won't. <laughs> I was oh man, no, no, no. before the avocado Those toast meme. Finally gone, but someone might be listening in. Years before we that shit. Be uh, check the we should meet in person. Uh, let's meet is the. Oh, I know. What? Kind of want to. How you want to do them all? <laughs> I do. Have you checked the baby? See, Max, he's fine. I told you to stop worrying. What kind of pretend mother would I be if I didn't worry about our imaginary baby? Oh, I gotta click it. Okay. Let's do this again. I was hope Food order. Uh, you must have me confused with someone else. I wanted one of your lobster fed piglet buffet platters to go, please. <laughs> on me. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was hoping you'd call. Alright, last one. Let's meet. Uh, yes. <laughs> we should go to. Uh, what a terrible impression. Sounds that like one of mine. That you like. Perfect. I'll leave right away. See you wherever that is, then. Oh, my love. Oh yeah, one more thing. Are your corn dogs really made with 100% pure beef? What? Of course not. And Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. <laughs> well, well, that's a relief. Ever since the dairy freeze shut down, Stinky's corn dogs have been my only <laughs> source of nutritious pig sphincters. <laughs> We don't suspect a thing. Yes, Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. Alright, let's go follow her. I keep forgetting I can just waz to this shit. Alright, no, so now you go into the, the diner. Oh, I hit the button. It feels weird using the keyboard. I can't exactly explain it, it just feels weird. I think you can still do the clicking, but... Just... Push the button. Because old man Stinky doesn't care. Yeah. Wow, would you look at that, Max? Amazing. It's a secret passage, Sam. Really not that big a deal. 
I like how Grandpa Stinky just kind of just doesn't care. He's just there. While we're doing all this, he's just like, bah! Uh, he's had weirder weeks. That's true. Hey, I remember the river. This place is River Sticks. We're on the other side. Sheesh, the mole people are taking their own sweet time getting our subway station back into shape. Well, to be fair, they've been subcontracting to the Mutant Alligators Union. Those guys are notorious loafers. <laughs> It's a big pile of low-tech audio video equipment tossed out like pianos from a falling zeppelin. Hey, look. It's Carol. It's Carol. Documentary filmmakers must be lurking nearby. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of junk, like this old scanner. Oh, boy. Whose head did we explode first? Not that kind of scan. What the? <laughs> I get it. It's Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. How is it doing down here? That's a mystery for another episode, Max. Meta. It's a mystery for another episode. Can I grab a tick? Can I grab one? People still haven't cleared away all those old Minesweeper cartridges. Well, we'll never be able to get past them. I just wanted to have one. <laughs> we'll never be able to get past them. <laughs> I just wanted to have one, but they won't let me have one. Well, we got the power core. And we have... Well, I'm going to take that to cops, to Carol. Uh, yep, yeah, bring Carol to cops. I can't believe they got rid. We're gonna replace the best character with the scanner. The scanner better be fucking good. I like how this game kind of like chugs a little bit when you go into a new area. And this game's old as fuck. Yep, yeah, well, it's also having graphical issues for some reason. Yeah, that's weird. You guys ready to help us fight? Are you us? running Windows 10? Uh, no, it's Windows 7. If you hmm. spot any unused office equipment, be sure to hook a brother up. Oh, I get it, because it's a scanner. Hook a brother up. Looking for a fourth member? Well, hello there, beautiful. Were your moving parts properly secured when you fell from heaven? Do not forget our seminar on workplace harassment. Plus, I called Dib. Oh my God! When exactly did this get really creepy? Thank you Just for now. Us in a brand new style of 20th century crime fighting. You can begin submitting clues to the crime tron whenever you find them. Any ideas on the case, cops? We're sorry, we haven't been paying attention. Ha! <laughs> evidence with the crime hyphen tron, and we will track down the villains without mercy. All right, so head to Mama. Uh, click on the map. Oh, uh, I wish you could scan that in. Oh yeah, let's let's do that real quick. I better keep this note. There could be valuable information on it. Uh. It says right here in the instructions. Only okay, you... whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's go to Bob. Yeah. Let's go to the Bosco's. Bosco Tap Labs. They actually have a lab. Yeah. If I remember correctly, it's... Yep. It's just the other side of the building. That was a long walk. I like how it's like all this run-down shit and then this. I, I think if you keep walking to the left, you see the giant ape head. Hold on, let me see. No? Alright, it's a different building then. Yeah, let's say it's different. Hey, isn't that weird that there's places you can go? Yeah. Uh, it's really apparent, well, with the control stick uh, handling, that this was intended for the PS3 first, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I could just pick up my controller and start using it if I really wanted to, but I don't feel like doing that. Oh, I get it. I'm not saying you should. I'm just... Cause it's like down there, and I gotta reach up and pick it up. I really don't feel like doing that. Spooky. Oh, I get that. That's a whole like forty inches away. That's hard. Oh, Mama yeah. Bosco. Hey, look at them. Yeah, oh, hey. Mm -mm. Get out of here! It's Sam and Max. <laughs> Reverend's a fail, fail <laughs> We were looking for Mama Bosco. 
Do not be afraid. Mama Bosco is passed on to the other realms. But I shall attempt to establish a link to... Oh, there she is. Hey, good looking. Oh, hey, guys. Ha! <laughs> Brilliant dead scientist. <laughs> a freak accident totally not caused by us. That we caused. from the ethereal plane. Welcome to the labs. You're my first visitor. Wait, I was your first visitor. Right. <laughs> oh my, that's sad. Hello, operator. Oops, sorry. You know how those spirits are once they get talking about the good old days when they were alive. I guess we can't make outgoing calls. All right. So, uh, let's see. Well, I'm going to go to her and probably show her the power cord. Oh, uh, no. Talk to Harry. Oh. I'm sensing you want to ask me some questions? I did click on you, yes. Vacation did ticket. Did you hear about General Skunk Ape's fabulous off-world vacations? What mole man hasn't heard about it? It's the talk of the five boroughs. Why don't you go try it out? Haha, <laughs> you get it in five boroughs. You they gave out the ticket? Because <laughs> he's a mole. Back, it was already too late. And they burrow in the ground. Well, tight. Maybe you should try the lottery. <laughs> I've got a really good feeling about your chances this time. Yeah, the lottery's just for unemployed losers who don't understand how numbers work. So how many tickets have you bought? Well, <laughs> no, wait. Uh, one. What are you doing here, Harry? I'm working as Mama Bosco's lab assistant. I never hired him. <laughs> perfect for the job. But you don't know anything about science. Or hygiene. Which means I'll never go mad and take over the lab for my own twisted experiment. I'm perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good point. Yeah. Apparently, there was some kind of power shakeup. I got laid off. You guys aren't looking for another partner, are you? No. We'll uh, keep your resume on file in case there's an opening. If you can talk to the dead, what? Maybe you know about psychic powers. Do you not? About my brain because I do you not like a uh, moment? Psychic powers. <laughs> you not like Harry? No, I like him. Just no. Cell documentary TV series back in the seventies. You know, he it's not as a partner. Sam, Max, and Harry. No? Nah, nah, I don't think it works. Alright, alright, what about Harry and Max? Hmm, nah, nah, nah. Are you sure that you're, uh, Sam and Harry. Nah. Of course. I've been blessed with the unique ability to communicate with the recently deceased. Only you can see me, huh? How many Harry and Bosco. Only one. Ha! I see it there. <laughs> she figured he figured it out. It took him a while. We can all see and hear Mama Bosco. That's just a manifestation of the unconscious. Oh, who am I kidding? You're right. I'm just useless. Come on, Harry. You're not just useless. He's right. You are useless. <laughs> Goodbye. Cheer around, Harry. And cheer up. You'll get what's coming to you. That's what I'm afraid of. And ghosts. I got a All present right. for you. Yep, only usable by mole people. I don't know why fucking skunk ape needs mole people, but I need to move this way so I can actually give it to him. I mean, hey, I mean, everyone's got their thing, I guess. I don't know. All expenses paid vacation. You actually have one of Skunk Copy's golden tickets? Well, that's a nice gesture, but I don't take charity. I'd have to give you something in return. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a lottery ticket, would you? Well, sure, I buy one every week, but it's worthless. I never win anything. I mean, uh... <laughs> I don't know if I can part with it. Okay, then. See ya, Harry. Wait, I can part with it. Just give me that vacation ticket. Poor... So long, poor bastard. Suckers. Prepare yourselves, mole women of outer space. The love digger is on his way. Oh. There you go. Rest in piss. What can I do for you boys? 
talking no. to her from down there. Yeah. Did you hear about the alien gorilla that landed on our street? Yeah, it came through on the news alert. Something about sharing alien technology and ending all poverty and disease on Earth, right? Well, yeah, but that's just one part of why he's evil. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. I'm even going to ask him if he can help me finish my dimensional destabilizer. <sighs> um... <laughs> I'd be careful around that general skunk ape. You two don't trust anybody, do you? What do you mean by that? Yeah, what are you trying to pull? <laughs> he helps me with my inventions. Then you'll see he's not such a bad guy. Not exactly the best judge character there, Mama Bosco. You're a doctor. Can it's you tell fine. us anything about late onset male psychic dysfunction? Psychic powers? It's probably a melon sized deadly tumor. Probably. Yeah, that sounds about right. Could be Probably is. Worms, of course. But I don't want to be alarmist. Most likely it's the deadly tumor. <laughs> I don't want to be alarmist. Most likely it's the deadly tumor. Non-lethal psychic powers? Oh, it's Max. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about then. <laughs> uh, have him stand a little farther away from my machines though. <laughs> I like how she's like, oh, it's probably... She thought it was... Assumed it was Sam. And then when it was Max, she's like, oh god, now I'm worried. Psychic powers dangerous for Max at all? Well, probably not. If he's careful and only uses them responsibly. And what if it's Max? Well, he'll overwork. <laughs> what about if it's so Max? Much that it catches fire and explodes. Ah, foreshadowing. Oh, I have got to see that. You can't see that, Max. Your brain will catch fire and explode. Well, that's why you'll have to record it for me, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I like the eyebrows there. Yeah. How's the it's pretty good. treating you, Mrs. Mama Bosco? That's Dr. Mama Bosco. I spent the summer getting my PhD on Dr. Mama Bosco. Yeah, I started to do that, but I kept getting distracted by all the funny cat pictures. Fair. You don't know how to use computers, Max. What's your doctorate in, Mama Bosco? Bridging the transdimensional gap to return spirits to their corporeal form. My master's was in funny cat pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're tired of being a ghost. Oh, it's not all bad. I'm getting better at apparating. And now I don't leave a trail of ectoplasmic slime behind every time I leave the room. That's better than Sam can say. But I'll be good to <laughs> my dimensional destabilizer and get my body back. I miss touching things. Hot? Yeah, touching <laughs> is my third favorite thing to do to things. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's gonna be a thumbnail. Second is licking. Second. <laughs> the new is nice. Lick it. Thanks for saying so, but it needs work. Do you have any idea how hard it is to find abandoned real estate in Manhattan that's not already haunted? Yeah. It's a dyer's market. Ah. I'm reading the exorcism listings in the paper just to find a lead on this place. It's fair. Why didn't you just set yeah. up your lab in the inconvenience store? Not everything happens on your street, Sam. Besides, that place isn't zoned for mixed-use haunting. They've got guys from the city coming by every day to evict me from this place. Only way to get rid of them is by making the walls bleed. <laughs> Dr. Mama Bosco, your lab is actually pretty impressive. Bosco's inventions always kind of, well... Uh, sucked. Yes. Well, he was always a special boy. <laughs> Have you heard from Bosco? He sent a few postcards. He and that bluster blaster machine finally made it to Las Vegas. I didn't know Bosco liked gambling. He said he's got a system. Plus fifteen billion dollars left over from the money that some idiots gave him for his inventions. <laughs> Those idiots have very good reasons. <laughs> I like how offended they were. I'm sure those idiots had very side, good reasons. Not if I can get this destabilizer working. Oh yeah, her power core. Hmm. Oh, we need that though. Oh, okay. So where do I go now? Oh. Well, now you have Harry's lottery ticket. So you give the lotto ticket to Stinker. All right. I like this fucking weird picture of Sam and Max there. Yeah! I don't know what that's from, but it's fucking weird and I like it. Probably like some f weird, creepy fan art they got. Possibly. So is this Sam and Max hit the road? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. By the way, before we do the next episode, I think I'll just t figure out what's going on in the graphics thing and see if it's a problem in other episodes, because it could just be this episode for some reason. Yeah. Alright, let's go to Stenka. Get out of my... I like how they recorded new Wii's for, uh... For fuck the fucking rabbit. Getting junked around. I'm so glad it's still a mechanic. Hey, stank face. There you are. Here. This is a scratch off you ticket. Torn up about stealing your patent 30 years ago, Grandpa Stinky. Yeah. Maybe this will make up for it. A watery ticket. <laughs> Don't you know that nobody ever wins these stupid. You interrupt this program for a breaking news bulletin. Officials for the city's $700 million lottery jackpot drawing have announced that there is one winning ticket sold to unemployed and somewhat pathetic Molopolis resident, Harry Molman. This just in, in a surprising upset, we're told that the winning ticket was transferred to local diner owner, Grandpa Stinky. Um, Sorry, how? Harry Molman. Better luck next time. Do you not? I told you I would win. <laughs> <laughs> so long, suckers. We've been hearing that an awful lot lately. What about the yeah. super secret demon bra? Take it. Welcome to ye. I never need to worry about money again. Goodbye, Stinky. We better find a use for this quick, Max. I don't like the way it sloshes around in my coat and gets everything disconcertingly moist. Oh, sure. Haha. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Okay. Congratulations! Okay, now what do I so do? So now we have the three important items. Yeah. Right? We have the power core, the demon broth, and the jumper cables. But do we have the videotapes? Attack! The jumper cable! <laughs> Alright, so now what do I do? Now you go back to the brain. Oh yeah, this will bring the brain back to life. And you combine all three items and you bring him back. Hoorah. I forgot that's how you bring the brain back. Going into the alien spaceship. It's a good thing he just lets us in here. Maybe a hard be if he didn't let us. I like that the door just randomly attached itself in different ways. I love it. Nope. Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. Alright, let's resurrect this fucking brain. Mm, it's too bad you don't have a nose, cause you smell delicious. <laughs> this should give that brain the jolt he needs to face the morning. Now we just need some way to hook it up. Attack the videotapes! Oh, oh, wait, you, I was glitching, wouldn't let me. Okay, there we go. You did it, Sam and Max. You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Easy peasy. All it took was Stinky's demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Don't forget the jumper cable, Sam. They were very important. Whatever the case, listen I like how they actually me. forgot that, too. Trust General yeah. He is... He is... Whoa. Something's happening. Toys detected. Toys detected. What are you doing, Brain? Cut it out. I can't help it. I'm... Um, Do what? Gordon's alive! I, mean, I get it. I see it. I get it. Tell me Gordon's alive? <laughs> Two toys. Two weak. Can't trace. Uh... Curses! Very well. I'll find them myself. Is he gone? <laughs> coast is clear. What just happened? I don't know. I've never felt anything like that. The toys of this planet must have astonishing power. Where is Skunk Ape's collection of magic toys? He keeps them on display as a show of power. 
I'm regaining control over the ship's functions so I can reveal them to you. Behold! That's oh, there's it. the first one. That's it. It's a toy that lets you teleport across vast distances in the blink of an eye using only the power of your mind. That's not cool enough for you? It's just yeah. we saw more toys in Max's vision. More toys? You must not have found them yet. They must still be somewhere in this city. You have to find them before Skunkape does, or he'll destroy us all. Alright, cool. I guess we'll go find them now. Get out of my way. Yep. Wee hoo. Alright. Let's see. I'm just gonna... Spaceship is secure. Yep. Skunk Ape wants him to rule space. the galaxy. We oh, just want him because. If you have a moment, Fuck him. You need to be debriefed. Too late. This may come as a shock. <laughs> the hotel indicates that General Skunkape is actually quite evil. No. <laughs> Super Bowl. I'm pretty sure I never heard of a Department of Homeworld Security agent, Super Bowl. Established in 1901 by Theodore Roosevelt after President McKinley's assassination by one of the insectors of the Nebulon Empire. Um? I'm President of the United States. Why didn't I hear anything about it? It's explained in books, sir. All right. <laughs> I think our same president currently has that problem. Max? Uh, sure. Actually, I think you can brief this one a lot easier, though. Right now, Agent Super Ball. Likewise, sir. A bit too close. I'm so glad Super Ball's back. Okay. What's the real story behind Skunk Ape? General Skunk Ape is an intergalactic criminal warlord. There's been a galaxy-wide gorilla hunt in effect ever since he escaped from the penal zone. The what zone? Penal. It's an interdimensional prison for the most dangerous villains in the universe. How are we supposed to get Skunk Ape back into the This sounds like zone? Superman. The United Planets have simple and easily reproducible yeah. fail-safe measures in place to handle escaped convicts. Well, that's a relief. All we need to do is open an unstable trans-dimensional gateway to the penal zone, and his prisoner's badge will take care of the rest. Um... We have to open an unstable trans-dimensional gateway? This sounds about right. You have lost your senses, man! The odds against that are astronomical! Even if we did know what that was. The gateway is the easy part, sirs. Dr. Mama Bosco's reckless and blasphemous work tearing down the fabric of reality could be useful. <laughs> what do we need from Mama Bosco? Her dimensional destabilizer can open a gateway to the penal zone. Anyone wearing a prisoner's homing beacon will be returned to justice automatically and scientifically. So, oh yeah, scientifically, good. Where is Skunk Ape now? Yeah. We can't track him without his homing beacon, sir. This will require some traditional detective work. Will reckless and irrational detective work do? Because that's all we know. I'd recommend starting with some of his known contacts. I didn't notice Skunk Ape wearing any kind of badge or homing beacon. That's because he wasn't wearing one, sir. I find it extraordinarily alarming. Whoa, 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 whoa. calm down. We can't think with all your hysterics. <laughs> Forgive me, Mr. President, but unless you can find General Skunkape's homing beacon and place it on him, we're powerless to stop him. What did this homing beacon look like? It's a standard issue intergalactic correctional facility inmates badge. It can't be destroyed, so the only way he could have gotten rid of it is by giving it to someone else. Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, grab the we'll hit that grab the teleporting the child's phone. Right in the penal yes, zone. I get it, sir. Yes, I get it, sir. The penal <laughs> zone. Kick I him mean, in the penal fair, zone. We were making the same jokes, so Max, can't really. This unassuming telephone unlocks oh, here we go. The gift of Teleportation. Yeah, we know. Using the power of your mind, yeah. you can teleport yourself to any phone number you Now you may use the power of your brain. I want to try it right now. I don't like the thought of you teleporting off without me, Max. You can go too, Sam. Max will teleport anyone he's touching. With anyone he's touching. Watch anyone. 